Greetings everybody, this is John here with Wiki Game Guides and welcome to my Death March difficulty walkthrough for The Witcher 3. Uh, so I'm not doing a complete 100% walkthrough of every single mission, I'm going to be covering the harder missions, the Witcher contracts, the hidden challenges, things like that, and doing a lot of tips and tricks videos. So it's not my standard uh, complete 100% walkthrough that I may have done for like Dark Souls or something like that, but I'm going to try to show the most important parts of the game and edit out a lot of the story and stuff like that so you can enjoy that on your own. Uh, so this first Witcher contract is called Devil by the Well. I believe you picked this up uh, from one of the notice boards early in the game in that first little area, and then uh, you just go talk to that guy on the map. And then now uh, this is like one of the first opportunities you really have to use your Witcher senses to investigate. Um, different clues around this area and so the first two clues are like the blood on the grass and then that dead body and uh, they also teach you about the importance in this first mission of going into the bestiary and looking at uh, the different weaknesses for the enemy that you will be fighting at the end of this mission so you can see there Something's that um, this the, the final boss for this thing is weak to uh, the magic trap Yurden. I'm probably saying that incorrectly and there's a lot of like I think it's a Polish development team. There's probably a lot of uh, words I'm going to say incorrectly throughout this walkthrough, so sorry. Um, anyway, I also wanted to say that um, I'm going to try something new. I'm going to say uh, this walkthrough is sponsored, quote-unquote, by Amazon. Uh, if you want to support me and Wiki Game Guides, be sure to use the Amazon affiliate link in the description of this video and every video and on the bottom of every page of my website when you buy your... Uh, whatever it is through Amazon, we get a little kick, or I get a little kickback, and uh, a small commission, and it costs you nothing extra, and it's a great way to support me without uh, directly sending me your own funds. So, anyway, again, uh, so it said you're supposed to like read the notes, um, and you don't actually physically have to read the notes. Like a lot of times, they'll just you know click the switch when you open the notes in your inventory and uh, move on from there. So go to that house that's, uh, what would that be? The kind of easternmost house uh, of the three? And then that will and, like get the clues in there and then uh, that'll be enough. There's enough clues in that house right there uh, to get to the next spot. Something's not right. Eventually you'll have to walk out and investigate the rope that is taut and holding a hanging corpse down into the well. God, this game is incredibly fun. Uh, I I did not expect to enjoy this game as much as I did. I knew this is the first Witcher game that I've played. They, I mean, it's it's so story heavy. I didn't think I would like it for that. Woman. Um, I am really enjoying a lot of the story though because it's so kind of gritty and raw and uh, just like the choices that you make. You can either be a complete asshole or you can be a nice guy, and it's not this like a paragon versus renegade in Mass Effect style system. It's much more like you really choose whether or not you want to kill people in a lot of situations. Like you can try to talk your way out of a situation, or you can use your mind control. Uh, what is it, the Axie power, if you level that up enough. So anyway, uh, eventually you're going to want to jump down into the well. Um, and like the combat is crazy fun in this game too, which I did not expect. It's very similar to Dark Souls, if you've played those games before. And uh, it's not as complex as Dark Souls, uh, but it's very similar in that it has uh, a light and a heavy attack for your weapon and a block and a counter if you time the block correctly along with the five different skills and because so um in future videos i'm going to be sure to include the um uh, my exact level and my equip and all that kind of stuff so you can see if uh you're well equipped enough to take on this mission compared to where i am um in this game and uh uh I think I'm only level 2 in this mission. This is very early on, but on this hardest difficulty, uh, Death March difficulty, this, like you die so freaking quick. Uh, the first thing I would recommend upgrading is the uh, Ken, Quen, Protective Shield skill. You'll be using that all the freaking time. It basically gives you one free hit. Um, now, I have not been blocking as much as I think I should have. A lot of people during the live streams that I've been doing have said that I need to be blocking more. Um, but with the with the protective shield and the rolls and the dodge, uh, you can pretty effectively 
Well, I've been getting away with not using the block very much, but maybe I should be using the block more um, to kind of just take a minor amount of damage or no damage, depending on uh, the strength of the enemy, I think. Um, oh yeah, don't forget to just uh, tap fast um, all the different fast travel uh, signposts because all, all you have to do is just hit X right next to them and that activates it for you later on, saving you a little bit of uh, uh, traveling time. Um, so, <laughs> despite the fact that this uh, boss that's coming up here in just a second is called a Noon Wraith, it has nothing to do... like. I think later on in the game there are going to be some enemies that you can only fight at specific times, but this one, and, and you can meditate for 12 hours if you wanted to, to get to be here exactly at noon, and maybe the boss is weaker at noon? I didn't think to check that, but um, you, you do not have to fight the boss at noon, and here she is, she comes out of the well after you burn the corpse, and uh, oh god, she's ugly. It worked. I'm gonna try to cut out most of the cutscenes, but like the cool boss intro cutscenes, I'm gonna leave in there just because I like watching them over and over again. So, uh, uh, I didn't do this fight as great as I should have. So she is weak to the Yurden magic trap, which basically means that when she's within that circle, or when she walks through that circle, she is temporarily slowed, um, which will make it easier to avoid her attacks and easier to do damage to her. Um, and it, this game doesn't do a great job of letting you know that they have been debuffed by the trap. Um, now maybe it does a better job later on after you've upgraded the magic trap, but on those first levels, especially on this death march difficulty, put your points into the, uh, the shield. I max that out as quickly as possible, and I don't do a great job in this fight of using my shield enough. I should be using it more. I should be switching between the magic trap and the shield. Um, uh, the Ken magic shield uh, and like basically every time the shield pops you should throw it back on because it is just ridiculously ridiculously helpful it basically gives you an extra free hit to take um, the stamina meter is the meter that is directly below the um, the wolf skull right by your health it's kind of it's almost full now it's that kind of yellow meter um, that's like after that fully recharges, then you can cast your spell again. Um, so just keep an eye on that meter. Basically, you should be casting spells as quickly as possible. It's kind of thing like I think they all regenerate at the same speed. And unfortunately, so I'm I'm playing on the uh, PlayStation 4 right now, and I would imagine that on the PC you probably have an easier time quick switching between the different spells. I, I would assume they're just assigned to F1 through F5. And uh, but through on the pl on on the PlayStation, you have to go into that radial menu every time you want to switch switch skills. And it'd be really nice uh, if I could just like tap. Like I wish I could just quick switch by just tapping L1 instead of holding L1 to go between like my two favorite skills or like you know a recall button like you would use on the remote when on on, on your TV when you're switching between channels. So anyway, just keep throwing down that that uh, that trap. Uh, you should be using the protective shield more than I have on this fight and uh, just keep using the quick attack uh, and get one or two hits in at a time and eventually she will go down and there she goes uh, so thanks for watching this first video everybody if you're new to the channel be sure to subscribe for more Witcher 3 updates and um, thank you for supporting my channel by using the Amazon link and click uh, there's more well, this is the first video, the first true video in the walkthrough, so there probably won't be many other videos in the playlist so far, but uh, there'll be a lot more coming. I, I have a lot of big plans for this game because it's such a huge game. It's been so much fun that I'm really, like, I, I get really ambitious with big games like this with all the videos that I want to make, so I, I have to kind of pace myself, but this is going to be a big project. I'm going to be posting videos for this for a long time, so anyway, it's good to get back into making walkthroughs too, so thanks for watching and game on.